going to like one of the, like the darkest place, darkest places that you can think of in your mind and then pushing past that and enjoying that suffering and making it, making that painful experience like extremely pleasurable. Yo, what's up? Happy Thursday. Got some things finalized on this project upcoming. Let me clean this lens. There we go. Yeah, so a couple calls were made today. Looks like um, they're getting everything done paperwork wise on their side. And I will not be heading on site this following week. It'll probably be the week after, I believe. I'll find out those details tomorrow, early next week sometime. So that's still pending. Um, but it looks like it's a go. It looks like it's a go. So we'll just um, stay posted on that and see what happens. And we'll just adjust as the time comes. But those are the, that's what's going on with that thing. But other than that, man, did yoga this morning, feeling really good. I was hurting this morning. Uh, my body is just tight. And even now, like my, my body's a little bit tight. Um, that, yoga that yoga session helped a lot. But it's just my body was just like dragging a little bit for whatever reason. So got back from there and then been on the phone the entire morning. Haven't had time to do too much, excuse me. And now it's going on about like 1.30 at this point. And there's a podcast we have to shoot here at 2.30. So a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on today and just continuing to move on throughout the day. So I'll keep you posted on everything. <laughs> As you can see, my face is still scruffy. I came by Sally's Beauty Supply. Hopefully they have the, the clippers that I need. I just need these, they're called peanuts. And the way the design is, it looks like uh, a peanut shell. They're tiny, but the clippers on them are extremely sharp. And when I used to have a fro, that's what I used to use to line myself up. The best out there on the market, try them out. That literally took less than two minutes. Picked up the clippers here. They had three different colors, black, white, and pink. I picked up the all black ones. It was only about 50 bucks. So the price range is still the same. I'm gonna go ahead and use these when I get home. I'll show you how they look when I, when I get back to the crib. But here are the clippers I got. These are the peanuts. My favorite, I had the white ones before. I got the black version, as you can see. Let me look, let me get this. So you see, we have all the guards. And these things are super, super sharp. Probably the sharpest clippers I've ever had in my life. The first ones I ever got was in high school. Like I said, when I had my fro, and then I got cornrows and all that stuff. So you had to keep the line tight. And um, yeah, so it's huge on hair, but it got the, like, the tightest, sharpest lines uh, ever that I've ever had. So I'm happy to pick these ones up. It's been a while since I actually bought some new ones and it was time for an upgrade. That's been over a decade since I had my first pair. So if you're looking for like longevity and clippers, and I take very good care of them too, those were over a decade that I had those. And for 50 bucks for a decade's worth of use, you can't beat that. Set up to cut my hair now. I just have to go get the um, electrical outlet to the plug-in so I can get it done. Probably start off shaving the face first. Feels good to finally just get this all cleaned up again. It's been a while. Been a long while. Power strip. And here's how the peanuts look. They're super slick. I like the black one. Extremely quiet too. The other version that I had, they got older and they got really loud. Hear how loud that is? Or quiet, I should say. That's not bad at all. The other ones were rattling, ah, just like yelling at you. These are nice. Last step is to use my little shaver right here. Clean it up, make it not as scruffy, just smoothing it out. Feeling a lot better now. My face looks different now that I don't have all this hair everywhere. I just like it, man. Nice clean feeling. Feel much better.
It's 1 a.m. right now. I just got off the phone talking to Voight. We had a good conversation. I was telling him about an interview that I watched today. It was on Impact Theory, which is Tom Bilyeu's podcast. And Tom Bilyeu, he's the owner of Quest Nutrition. He's going to be at the Meltdown in the Desert here next week. And he's one of the guys that I've been following his story for a long time and wrote down on my goals. That's a man that I wanted to meet in person for a long time. Very good entrepreneur. Very like very insane mindset when it comes to getting things done. Extremely successful, cool, cool dude. Uh, but I've been looking, looking at all his podcast episodes, and he had this one with this guy named David Goggins. And if you if you're not familiar with him, look him up. This guy. Uh, sort of got given the title of the toughest man on the planet. He's an ultra marathoner. Uh, he's been in all, or uh, he's been in three of the the main arm, or what do you call it, military services. He was a, you know, a Navy SEAL. He was uh, an Army um, Green Beret. He was part of the, he was like the highest caliber in Air Force as well. And I don't know the the force that he was part of or whatever. But this guy, man, his mindset is crazy. I would, when you're talking about like the most extreme mindset you can think of, this guy is like 10 times more extreme than that. And it's just like, but hearing his thoughts and his mindset and just how, how, he, how he thinks and processes ideas and his belief on you know, like going through suffering to achieve success, uh, it, it resonated with me, man, because I've been like on this idea for the past month or so, and I couldn't put the 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 concept to words, so to speak. But then everything he was talking about in this interview is just like going to like one of the, like the darkest place, darkest places that you can think of in your mind, and then pushing past that and enjoying that suffering. And making it, making that painful experience like extremely pleasurable. And it sounds sort of crazy, but you have to listen to this interview. And like these are just like some of the like the bites that I got from him. But this guy, he's hardcore man to the limit. Um, ultra marathoner. He used to he broke the Guinness Book of World Record for the most pull-ups in a 24-hour period. It was like 4,000 some odd pull-ups. Um, but he has, a, he has a great story, man. Retired military man. Um, but yeah, his message, like, it hit home and resonated with me um, big time. As well, I one of those those interviews that I had to hear, and it was just came around at the perfect time. It's just crazy, man. So um, there was just a piece in there when he was just talking about like, and I've just been feeling this like. And the only way I can sort of just like say it is like you got to be pissed for success in a way, like you have to want something so bad that you get, you get like pissed or you're, you're um, like you want it so bad that you're driven to achieve your goal. And it was just it just hit home because they were talking about like the emotion of having um, anger or, or revenge, like how those emotions are usually uh, negative or they're viewed as negative and how they shouldn't be viewed as negative but as, as a positive because it shows that you're just you're passionate and dedicated and focused and driven enough to push towards whatever it is that you're going for and I know it sounds like really extreme but it's something that I honestly I truly believe in like just having I don't know if it's you can sort of be peaceful at the same yeah like you're still peaceful you're still positive but it's just being pushed to a like in such an aggressive level to where you want it so bad and it's like he went over this whole message and mindset of why why it's just a positive emotion to have um but that was just something that hit me today and we were avoiding our talking about that but man it was a really good episode and um it, it sort of encapsulated all my feelings and thoughts that I've been having over these couple weeks, or these few weeks, and I've noticed that I've I've had those those trends or those emotions throughout my entire life of when I really get diehard focused, like I get extremely like I get pissed, man. But it's not pissed at people per se; it's pissed for success, if that makes sense. So I just make sure that I'm always like dialed into that thought, that idea of achieving and becoming what I want to become. 
so I do sort of not I do whatever it takes to get me to that point surround myself with the right people start reading the right books um, doing the right actions the right routines every single day and it just it's so effective for me and I go through this period six months like every six months and just reevaluate where I am and then make that adjustment immediately and this is this interview just popped around at that perfect time but it was just one of those things if you if you have a chance check out impact theory Tom Bilyeu and he interviewed David Goggins that one as I to me I think it's a life-changing interview and it's, it's super extreme and you have to be ready for uh, a lot of explicit words this guy you know he curses cusses like a sailor however you say it but the message behind what he's saying is not so much the the word it's the emotion and the passion that drives the words that are coming out of his mouth so to speak but that was just something that was on my mind um other than that crew that's all i have for tonight it was a fantastic day cut the hair uh talk to my family and then just moving forward with the business man the vlogger on the weekend stuff's going well still a lot to work there's still a lot of work to do on there um but it's coming together it's coming together and everything that i've put down on paper over these past few months is steadily moving forward and i'm just honing in and just pushing harder than i than i've uh ever done so that's it crew we'll catch you in the morning much love peace